Hi, I'm Jilly from Baby Sleep Made Simple. Every Tuesday, I answer baby and toddler sleep questions on my Facebook page. The video that you're about to watch is me answering in detail a specific question sent in by an exhausted mom. If you've got a question for me, post it in the comments below. I hope you enjoy the video. The unfortunate truth about this is for babies that are younger than six months old, short and unpredictable napping can be common, which is the last thing that tired parents want tired parents wants to hear, but it's often the truth. I don't encourage uh, formal nap training until at least six months um, for that reason. The way that I approach helping babies sleep well is to first work on bedtime, then we fix extra night wakings, and then we work on naps. So I would ask you how your four month old is sleeping at night. Um, has she gone through the four-month sleep regression? Is she in the sleep regression now? How is her night sleep? If she's still waking up throughout the night and can be hard to settle and doesn't go down so easily at bedtime on her own, then it's so, certainly something that I would encourage you to work on first because naps can often just get better as a result of better night sleep. So that's fantastic. You don't have to work so hard on naps. Naps are often the hardest aspect of baby sleep to fix. That's the truth. What I do, my approach is a bit unconventional. I think if your baby's younger than six months and is a serial crap napper, I encourage you to help her nap in a way, uh, in any way possible. So especially if she has silent reflex and she's four month old, I think it's perfectly acceptable to nap in the swing because it's more upright so the reflex won't bother her as much and then often the nap, the motion will help your baby nap longer. If she's in the swing, you wanna supervise her naps. So you just wanna make sure, even if she's in her dark bedroom, you wanna be popping in there, you wanna have the video monitor on her to make sure she's okay because we don't really want unsupervised naps in the swing. So I would say it's perfectly acceptable, no mom guilt, um, utilize motion naps. Um, baby carrier, stroller, the swing, a vibrating chair. Do this until she's about six months and then hopefully she will have outgrown her reflux and then we can really work on getting her napping longer on her own more independently. But also, uh, depending on how her night sleep is going, there are certainly steps that you can take to help her with her night sleep. Um, a good first place to start is my Exhausted Mom Survival Kit that'll help walk you through bedtime and how to set up a peaceful nightly ritual for your baby in an ideal bedtime. And then once she's five months, or a bit older, then we can really work on helping her sleep longer stretches at night. Often just doing the steps of the survival kit will help babies sleep better. Usually at least one of the night wakings disappears or the baby sleeps longer stretches. Uh, but for a lot of babies, we still have to fine tune some things. And so that's when parents join me um, in 21 days to peace and quiet. At four and a half months, you wanna really stick to an hour and a half to two hour awake times throughout the day. So make sure she's not going too long. Make sure she's not going over two and a half hours in between naps. And even in the morning, that first awake time in the morning can even be as short as an hour and a half. Babies are often ready for a nap uh, after that short of amount of a time. Uh, but do whatever it takes right now. And if she's in the four month regression, do whatever it takes for you to get some downtime for her to get the rest that she needs, okay? Good luck. Remember, if you've got a question for me about your baby, toddler, or preschooler's sleep, post it in the comments below, and I'll be sure to answer it on next Tuesday's Facebook Live. Make sure you follow my Facebook page, Baby Sleep Made Simple, so you can stay updated on everything baby, toddler, and preschooler sleep. Take care.